Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka SBX, and this video right here is dedicated for the ladies out there. Um, this pretty much video I want to put you in this whole pursuit of of your theories of why I think you know playing these mind games and your your whole perspectives of liking the bad guy and thinking the good guy lasts you know don't last long. Pretty much saying that uh, good guys finish last. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, though, I feel like, you know, I, I'm a good guy. I'm a stand-up guy. I mean, I, I respect women. There's some times that, you know, they'll piss me off and get me out of proportion. But, you know, it, I won't necessarily hit a woman. I won't hit a woman because it's not right. It's not the right thing to do. Um, but what really bothers me is how every time where you try to let's say trying to get with a girl try to get to know her be friends with her trying to be acquaintance with her um speaking your mind out and all that to a woman <coughs> it's like she acts so shy low about you know your your perspective and who you are as a person about what you have like when it comes to a career how is your capabilities are the way you level yourself and all that, it seemed like, okay, well, oh, well, Josh is a good guy, but he's too nice for me. I mean, I thought last time I checked, I feel like women did deserve to be respected and, and, and been treat, been treated right. So, it's part of our nature, so for the good guys, it's part of our nature to consider doing that. But, my theory is, is that I hate the fact that when when women go for the, the 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 thugs and the gangsters, the drug dealers, the the bad guys, the scumbags, the deadbeats, and all that, you crawl up to them and, and and say, oh well, you know, I like him because he know how to protect me and that and that and that, and 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 it it really bothers me. Like, how can a gangster or a drug dealer protect you 24/7? I understand they have the momentum to know how to fight and shoot and all that there are times where you know he that person could be locked up or 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 pretty much die or by getting shot getting stabbed beat up to death or or whatever the case may be how's that protecting how, how's that trying to protect you how's that cherishing your love to 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 be to be something to have in your life how how how, how in the right mind how the hell does a gangster pretty much protect you at all times? There are some times that niggas get ambushed by other gang rivals where they get shoot at, they get stabbed, they get beat up and, and robbed and shit and yet you go for the for the thug? And then, you know, if you want somebody who can protect you or who know how to fight and all that, you could have just at least go for a guy who, either like a cop or a Navy SEAL soldier or <clears throat> a karate expert a fucking um a, a wrestler or any or anybody who knows how to fight with all these people why the low lies that's what I don't understand about females it's like when you get with the athletic dude who, who's an expert of fighting not only he can beat your ass and have all those triceps bodies and all that, he's really good. He's a professional. He can he can be rich on doing that. He probably know how to use like the cops and the secret agents and all that. They know how to use weapons. They know how to manipulate people. They know how to do things physically and mentally. But yet again, you choose these stupid ass niggas in your life that will cost you your fucking livelihood. And, and, and a change in your life where you will regret being with that person at all. <clears throat> where you can't shoot, as I said, you got a fuck, you got cops, we got soldiers, we got fucking firemen, we got all the original tough guys who serve for the people and by the people, for the community and for the world. And yet you will, and you rather just be with a guy who is self-centered and care about his hood and care about his game, care care about his clique and care about the drugs he's selling, care about his motors in life and yet he, he and he 
really so called persuade that he loves you. I feel like women got things fucked up nowadays. And yet you want to cry and bitch about in the end where you say, Oh, well, men ain't shit. Uh, uh, he left me. Uh, uh. You know, you fucked up because you should have choose the right guy for the, from the get-go. A guy who can make an honest living in this life. Someone who tries his best to benefit you. And yet it's not enough with you. You want more. You want more realistic things in life. You want somebody to fucking wipe your ass for you. You want somebody who can fucking feed you all the time. And take care of your fucking bastard ass children. And I'm sorry to say, but these kids don't have a father figure. And you're making them feel like bastard children in the, in the, in the world. Because you don't know how to fucking close your fucking legs. And, and, and observe the men you, in, you have in your life. And you know for a fact that this guy is not good for you at all. That's the shit that bothers me with females. It doesn't matter what color you are, what what race you are. It, it, it it's just the same old bullshit, same old theory. Whole pussy make the world go round and fucking men like I, nice guys finish last. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? No, let me tell you this: nice guys never finish last. Only fucking scumbags finish things last. And you're fucking fucked up life finish last. That's what finish last. It's your fucking life and the scumbag and the relationship with that fucking guy. Finish last. <clears throat> so don't fucking tell me about, oh, well, he, well, the good guy doesn't offer you anything. You don't take advantage of the shit at all. At all. Even good guys like me and, and other, and, 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 and leaving them into the alley, cold, wondering when could we find that special woman in the heart who can love us for who we are not because of the material materialistic things we have in and our background and all that other shit that you consider count in a relationship that's how love itself dies like that because you count on all the materialistic bullshit in your life and acting all shallow and shit wanting this superman in your fucking life but yet he's got to be a fucking thug you got to be a fucking intelligent thug you gotta be a fucking smart ass thug who can take care of your fucking children, who can protect you. <clears throat> and let me tell you something. I'm not saying all thugs do that. There's some other guys who want to change their life, and but yet still have that ambition of being a thug. But being a thug meaning being a gangster meaning that he wants to stay in that mentality until the day he dies. He don't give a fuck. You can't turn. You can't change a, a, a gangster into a hu to a, 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 a husband. Just like you can't change a bitch into a, 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 a to a, a wife or a housewife. Nah, <clears throat> it doesn't exist at all in this world. I don't understand the whole theory of it. You want a fucking bad guy, but yeah, you, you gotta treat. He gotta treat you right. Fuck out of here. I'm just so worked up on this. You don't even know how I feel. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you guys too, but <clears throat> I just hate that theory in life. You know, where where are the good girls at? Where where are they? Where are the good girls who want the good guys in life? Where are the fucking positive relationships in this world? Where is that? To me, I feel like having a relationship is getting too redundant. Where you 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 in and you out, you put you in the friend zone. That's that's killing. That's that's pretty much killing love itself by putting the good guys in the friend zone and leaving us in in the cold, having some dumbass nigga in your life, having three or four babies, and making you look fat and bitter. That's killing love by your fucking actions, men and women. So please, as I said, women, get your shit together. You, you say you're independent, but yet you want to fucking Thug to, to maintain your life, your goals in life, your motivation and all that. A guy who can fucking jeopardize your life, doesn't matter what situation that is. Any, anything that is small turn into a big, hostile situation where he can lead you to fucking die. Lead you to fucking be in an abusive relationship and... And put you into in jail. 
for his stupid action. And get that's called love. Uh, y'all don't really don't know. Y'all don't know what love is. I don't feel like nowadays this, these women, these typical women in, in this world, don't deserve love. They need to work for it. They need to change their actions and they need to change their attitude and turn their shit, change change that situation upside down. Cause. You know, I'm I'm tired of that typical fucking black girl drama shit. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of I'm I'm tired. It's, it's bullshit. Every time you watch TV, it's a bitter black ass woman who complains about old men ain't shit, playing some fucking Beyonce, eating ice cream all the time, going to the fucking salon all the time just to look cute for herself, and you know she's trying to impress some fucking men out there. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of the fucking mind games you be playing. I'm tired of leaving the good guys hanging and trying to be nice to you, trying to get to know you, trying to help you out in this world, even if it's not too much to ask. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of typical shallow, insecure bitches. And y'all, and yet y'all deserve to be called bitches because of your fucking actions, not because of you or, or your degrading and stuff like that. That's somewhat part of the reason, but. You put a bitch into another whole new sh selection of in this world. Matter of fact, that's it's bringing a new level into the table. That's what I'm actually trying to say. You, you putting you degrading yourself and making it seem like it's okay to be called that bitch. Or I am that bitch. Bitches don't get fucking married. Bitches don't last in a relationship that 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 long. Bitches care about two fucking things: dick and money. That's all they matter in this world. So. Pretty much, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me your thoughts, your feedback, all that. Subscribe to my shit. Like, don't like, I don't give a fuck. So, I want to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Peace.